Crypto Wealth Transfer is here. It's starting, and it has the chance to make you pretty damn wealthy. Millions. Yay. This is the greatest wealth transfer potentially in history happening before your eyes right now. But the opportunity to be on the right side of this equation, to not be ex-liquidity, will not last forever. I want to explain to you very clearly what is happening right now with some proof, some evidence showing exactly what is going on and what you need to do to be able to profit wildly from this trend. This is the biggest wealth transfer of money ever, leaving the boomer markets, the money funds, the gold. I mean, I heard this lingo for it. They said this in 2020 and 2021. I, be careful with that. Just because every, honestly, every year is the greatest wealth transfer to see. But because you can start wealth anytime. There's no like perfect time or wrong time to start wealth. There's no matter time. It could be a bull market or a um, bear market to start your greatest wealth transfer of all time. And that's in my opinion. So don't get caught up with the lingo and stuff. You can start anytime. Doesn't matter if you're a bull market or bear market. All that crap and entering crypto, and you're early enough to profit massively. First, we need to understand where the crypto markets are right now. And look, the situation is moving very fast. So by the time you watch this video, the numbers are probably going to be potentially even dramatically different. The total market cap of all crypto coins, which is still about 25% under the all-time highs of 2021, by the way, which is kind of crazy to think about how close we are two months before the Bitcoin halving. We've never been this close before. Here we are. We're making history. You're part of it. Welcome. Congratulations. The move back to all-time highs alone is so massive in its scope that it would add another trillion dollars in market cap, which is crazy, man. Last cycle, bottom to peak of all coins. Combined, the market cap was around $3 trillion, a little bit over. But the whole market cap had a near 30x rise from the super, super lows of the bear market over a 36-month period. But we can't assume such huge gains again in this cycle. A 30x gain from the low would implicate a $20 trillion market cap. I guess I'm just not bullish enough, man. Probably not likely this cycle, right? Mm -hmm. But for now, we probably need to consider... The reality of diminishing returns we've seen over time with the crypto markets. So possibly we're hitting a market cap for all crypto coins combined of around maybe $10 trillion, possibly in late 2025. Although something that could happen sooner remains to be proven, that theory, of course. By the right. way, a $10 trillion market cap, what's that imply price point wise for our favorite coins? Probably around like a quarter million dollar Bitcoin, a fifteen thousand dollar Ethereum, maybe even a seven hundred dollar Solana. Assuming these coins hopefully, hopefully so. But I know those are great predictions. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see because I do see it coming down again and then eventually going back up. I don't know what stage we're in in the crypto stage. I know there are stages in crypto. It's the same thing with investing. But hopefully I'll get more knowledge about that to understand. I'm able to explain that to you guys what stage you're in right now. But right now I'm just learning as I'm watching and going. And the one thing about with you guys and ladies, I want to say, if I don't know something, I'm going to let you know. I'm not going to pretend to know something that I don't. And I'm a very honest person. Now, what you want to get from me is honesty, and that's okay. Don't just don't get your hopes up, because I do believe it's going to go down. Maybe not as dramatically, but I've learned the time sometimes slow growth is the best growth. Because I know we want that fast growth. Overnight millionaire. We put $1, it goes to $1,000. And I know, trust me, we brought up in the microwave culture, but hey, but sometimes that's not always the best. Slow growth is the best. Means maintain approximate percentages of market dominance compared to where they are right now. Not totally unrealistic to assume that will approximately play out like that. But maybe you see some outperformance, you know, soul out performs a bit and it gets to $1,000 a coin. But those numbers give you kind of a general idea of where we could be heading for this market as a whole if we do hit that $10 trillion mark. Maybe we only get to six, seven, eight trillion this cycle. By the way, that low cap shit coin, 100X, ma'am. 
if it's a good one, of course. But, 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 Lark, where does all the money come from? Do you have any proof? Yes. I'm glad you asked. Yes, I do. First, let me tell you something. You are 100% missing out on, though, before we get into all those numbers and that proof. That is the Wealth Mastery Newsletter. This is the most alpha-packed newsletter in the cryptocurrency market. Every single issue has the latest on stuff like airdrops, DeFi, NFTs, and of course, the latest altcoin narratives, the charts, and so much more. You can sign up for free and join our 100,000 plus weekly readers by using the link down below in the description. Okay, so the proof. And I want you to keep in mind that the number going up, by the way, is and always has been and always will be the number one advertisement for the cryptocurrency market. And guess what's happening right now? Exactly that. The number is going up. And that number going up brings money crawling out of the woodwork. All kinds of interesting places. People just start showing up. And the numbers just got more shocking. Because the more we go through this, you have to understand how crazy some of these numbers are. So listen up. Proof number one. Boomer money parked in money market funds. Currently sitting at $6 trillion. Thank you, boomers. I really appreciate it. You're the best. A lame five percent. What happens when the Federal Reserve cuts interest rates and the people sitting in those funds start thinking four percent, three percent? It's not really that attractive anymore. What am I going to do? Go back to some dividend stocks? I like dividend stocks, but what happens when the TV starts telling them, hey, Bitcoin's up a hundred percent this year, or whatever it happens to be up when the rate cuts finally start? Because they're going to invest in Bitcoin. This is what I mean. Everyone's going to follow what the media says. Yes, this is exactly. And that's going to happen. And it's going to drive the price up. Please do. Yeah, invest in Bitcoin. Invest in crypto. Trust me. It's going to help me out. Trust me. And all the people that hold crypto, it's going to help them. If you like this video so far, give it a thumbs up. Apart from the Fed, lizard brain switches on. People want to back winners. People want to bet on winners. And Bitcoin is a winner. And Bitcoin will keep winning. And here's the thing. We don't need $6 trillion to come in. $6 trillion is not going to come in. Just 1% of that money, though, is equal to $60 billion. For reference, we've had $7.5 billion of total spot volume inflows so far to Bitcoin ETF products, and that has driven the price up by 50% since January. Extrapolate what $60 billion does. Even 0.1% of this money market fund money showing up will have a massive impact. That's $6 billion or almost as much as already come into these markets. Now, proof number two, the gold market. Take a look at this chart. Right now, there's about $40 billion in all the Bitcoin ETFs. Gold has about $90 billion in all their ETFs. Wow, that's a huge difference in gold ETFs and Bitcoin ETFs. And I know gold ETF is still the biggest one because they're the longest and gold has been a stable since way before I was born and still is strong to this day, but that's going to catch up in the next 10 to 20 years. Trust me. I see it and we will all see it. F products. But here's the thing. If you are bullish on gold, then why would you not be bullish on Bitcoin too? It has all the same great properties that you might like investing in gold for, but it's basically better in every single possible way verifiable supply, store value, highly divisible, easily sendable, easily transportable, easy to walk across the border with. And here's the kicker, way, way more upside compared to gold. Bitcoin's market cap is a little over a trillion dollars right now. Gold's is a little under 14 trillion right now. So for Bitcoin to double. Wow. So gold is the top one. Microsoft, Apple, Saudi Amerco. NVIDIA, Amazon, Alphabet, Google, Silver, Metal Platform, and Bitcoin. Bitcoin is in the top 10 of coin market cap of all assets. And that's letting you know something. Look at this chart. Look at it. Which Why would you not invest in Bitcoin? I see you invest in these, but I know someone will be out there, well, it's number 10. Hey, because it can go past... Hey, I see it going past Meta and Silver. Now, I'm not sure about Google or Amazon, but those things, yeah, it's a definitely great investment, no matter if it's in the bull market or bear market.
double requires adding just another trillion dollars of market cap. It's a lot of money. It's a big number, but possible, doable, much more doable than compared to for gold to double requiring adding $14 trillion in market cap. Which seems more likely to you? Honestly, answer the question. Think about it. Now, I'm not. And I'm going to end the video right here. In my opinion, I think Bitcoin and crypto is a great investment. I would say don't invest all your money or your life savings into crypto. Put a sum, a small amount into investing. And if you like to see the growth of it, hey, maybe you put some more. But don't put your life savings in cryptos or a big chunk of money. If you have play money, put that in there. Or extra money, put it in crypto and see it grow. That's my advice because I'm not a financial expert. So anything I say is for entertainment purpose. I have to say that. If you like this video so far, put a thumbs up in the comment and watch my next video right here. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.